Next, let's move towards the timetable management. First, we have to create the periods wherein the name of the lecture, the hours and the minutes from which the lecture will be starting, what will be the duration of the lecture and the sequence is maintained. The next is how we generate a timetable. We select a standard division, the start date and the end date till which the timetable will be effective. After that, we keep on adding the period, the faculty who will be teaching on and the subject for which the lecture or the period is. In this way, we create periods for the entire week. and then click on generate timetable once that is done a timetable will be seen in a Kanban view the timetable can also be seen in a calendar view wherein this is a timetable for first year students this can be seen on day basis on weekly basis and for the entire month we can also create printouts for the timetable. Thus, a file will be available in PDF format. We can create timetable teacher wise or class wise. Next, let's move towards monthly attendance. We first have to create a monthly attendance sheet. This is a sample monthly attendance sheet wherein we enter the batch number, the month, the academic class, year and division. Then we create a daily attendance sheet. Once we enter the academic class, division and batch and save the record, all the students for this particular academic class, division and batch are auto-populated in the form. The user will only just have to edit and mark the attendance. This is a monthly attendance record. We can also create monthly attendance report by entering the academic class, division, batch, year and month. Once we click on attendance sheet for the month will be available. Let's move towards the fees management. In fees management, we can create various fee structures. This pre-configured fee structures will be helpful at the time of creating re fee receipts. Thus, once you create a fee receipt for a particular student by entering the student's name, we just have to add the fee structure and save. Once you click on confirm the structure is auto populated and the amount in the receipt is also auto populated. Thus the user will not have to manually go and enter the fee receipt details every time. Different kind of structures can be created and can be used at the time of fees payment. Next let's move towards the examination module we can create different type of exams wherein the details like the exam session the subject for which the exam is going to be the subject for which the exam is going to be conducted 
the exam code the start time end time of the exams the venue what is the total marks for which the exam will be conducted and what are the passing marks next we have exam sessions these will represent various sessions of the exams with the details like the room number in which the exam will be taken standard class and division for which the exam is going to be conducted what is the start time end time of the exam etc we also have qualification criteria that is what will be the name the number of failed subject and the result to be displayed we then create the result lines for each student we have mark sheet lines which are created for each student separately based on these lines the mark sheet registers are created and the result is displayed we also have other features like the exam resource allocations that is all the resources that are required for the exams such as the faculty required the room numbers and other details we also have separate pass status that is the different exam pass status like whether the student is passed whether he passed with first class whether he is passed with first class and distinction various criteria pass criteria are created based on the marks next let's move towards the library management we have books option wherein different details of the books like the name of the book the isbn code what is the internal id number of books etc are maintained in educational details we have the details of the courses and the subjects for which this book can be used for movement we have details of all the movements of the book as in the book was available with which student for which time period etc and the next is book movements wherein we can independently see the movement of the book in the library and among the students next is book queue request wherein the request can be placed for the various books in library configuration we can configure the library card with the details like the number of the library card what is the issue date whether it's a student or a faculty what is the library card type and the number of books allowed we can create different type of library card types different authors and different publishers for the books etc we also have other general details like the placement offers the health details of the students and the faculty we can create student hall tickets and print them per exam session wise we have admission analysis report which can be printed using print button now this is a student migration feature that is when a student is passed and is migrated or promoted to the next class we can use student migration feature and next is the details of various achievements that the students have achieved within the specific academic year next we have a student portal wherein book queue requests can be made by the student the student can see his or her own information the assignments which are given to the students can be seen through student portal by the student the student can search for different books that are available in the library on student dashboard we have information regarding the lectures that is the timetable of the student we can see it day wise weekly or monthly timetable we also have different assignments that the student has to submit the next is request a book feature which is present in the student portal so suppose if there is any book which is not available in the library student can make the request to the library for such kind of books the library can think about this request and if required then the library can order books in future the next is library portal in library dashboard we have the Uh, details like what are the due books of for the present day 
that is what was what are the books that are going to be received and we haven't received yet and due books due books for the month next is book requests wherein the library can see the various book requests that are placed by the student library can look through the various list of books that are present in the library the various publishers whose books are present in the library and the authors whose books are present in the library next we have a faculty portal wherein the faculty can see his or her own information he can see the students information the assignments that the faculty has given to the student the exams that are going to be conducted the exam attendees wherein the list of the student who have attended a particular exam is seen can see the mark sheet lines that is mark sheets of different students and these are the result lines that is result for of particular student for a particular subject next is book queue request wherein the faculty can request for a book in faculty dashboard we have the details like the assignments approved and the lectures for today again the timetable can be seen day wise weekly timetable or monthly timetable the next is request a book feature wherein just like the student the faculty as well can request for a book which is not available in the library this was all about open erp 7 university management thank you for your time and have a good day